As a follow-up to 2010's Donkey Kong Country Returns, Tropical Freeze is better in every way. It's evident right from the start with the game's beautiful opening sequence showcasing the newest threat to DK Island. The creatures known as Snowmads have inhabited the island, freezing it to Sub-Zero and forcing the Kongs right out of their home. So it's up to Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, and Cranky Kong to defeat the Snowmads and take back their rightful DK Island. The core gameplay you've come to recognize is here. The same rhythm of jumping, rolling, swinging, carting, and barrel blasting your way through level to level and island to island returns. You'll explore jungles, high seas, grasslands, fruitful forests, and frosty fields, each filled with levels that are so animated and full of personality they're a character in their own right. Some of my favorite levels are the ones that are silhouetted. They look even more stunning now than they did in Returns. I like how levels will constantly change and some even take form as you play, keeping you on the edge of your seat as you try to dodge any incoming obstacles. One of the biggest additions to Gray's Tropical Freeze is the ability to swim, which was strangely absent in Donkey Kong Country Returns. Delving into the ocean allows for natural change in level variety by being able to jump into the water and swim freely, just like in the original Donkey Kong Country trilogy. It never made sense that swimming was omitted in Returns, but I'm glad it's back now because though water levels are tricky, they can be very soothing. And it only helps that David Wise, the original composer for the original Donkey Kong Country series, is back to bless us with his musical savvy. And like the title of the game applies, David Wise's soundtrack is nothing less than tropical. A majority of the tracks carry Wise's jazzy, atmospheric sound that is just full of zest. Having David Wise compose complements the game well, and with new tracks like Mangrove Cove, Grassland Groove and Windmill Hills, and returning tracks like Aquatic Ambience and Simeon Segway, the music alone is worth your playthrough. If you played Returns back in 2010, you'll evidently notice a jump in graphical fidelity. Tropical Freeze on Switch runs at 1080p 60 frames per second while docked, and 720p 60 frames per second when playing in handheld mode, both achieving graphical prowess and are fun in their own way. You can even notice the hyper-realistic fur on the Kongs, a nice aesthetic added to the characters. Donkey Kong Country has a history with being ported to handhelds, so finally having the option to take Tropical Freeze on the go feels right, and the game is suitable for short bursts of playtime. Having the option between three partners and not just one this time around adds a range to gameplay style. Diddy Kong can use his jetpack to help you hover for a short time over objects and gaps, Dixie Kong can use her signature ponytail to give you an extra boost in the air, and the wizened Cranky Kong can use his cane to Scrooge McDuck his way all over enemies and spikes. I found myself gravitating towards Dixie Kong more than the others. However, I do miss when her ponytail will let you hover instead of just giving you that short burst in the air. As you experience each Kong and their unique way to play, you'll quickly learn which duo best suits your playstyle, and that's the beauty of it. And just like Donkey Kong, you won't have to go at it alone, since multiplayer is more accessible than ever by splitting the Joy-Con with another person. One player controls Donkey Kong, and the second player has a choice between Diddy, Dixie, or Cranky right from the start. The only problem I have with this mode is that you're still tethered to each other. So as soon as someone leaves the screen, the other player is forced to follow, sometimes resulting in unwanted deaths. The option for a second player to drop in at any time is sadly absent so you'll have to access the main menu every time someone wants to join. A great feature, if you're playing with someone who is less skilled than you, is having that player hop on DK's back as you take them through the level with ease. To conclude, playing cooperatively can be fun if you can ignore the minor setbacks. I need to talk about the bosses in this game, because the Donkey Kong Country series has always had some of the best and most creative bosses, and I'm confident in saying it is no different here. Their designs are inventive, but man, they can really, really test your patience. It's been a while since boss fights made my palms sweat, and this game will, without question, get your sweat glands working overtime and get the adrenaline pumping. Because Tropical Freeze is tough, but it's an enjoyable kind of tough. Enough to make you want to keep trying. And yes, you will die. A lot. So get used to this yelp and this screen showing up over and over and over again. It shouldn't be a problem though, because during my playthrough, I quickly accumulated 99 lives. This game is not shy about giving you chances to succeed. Collecting 100 bananas will get you a life, 
And by collecting banana coins scattered through every level, you can make your way over to Funky's Fly and Buy where you can buy red balloons for an extra life, green balloons to get you out of any pit, blue balloons will get you extra underwater time, and the shield to give your vehicles extra armor. You can even take Squawks out for a spin to help you locate hard to find puzzle pieces. There's no reason to not see this game through its end, and if all that is not enough to push you, the Nintendo Switch version of the game has an all new funky mode, which allows you to play as a gnarly simian himself, Funky Kong. This is essentially the game's easy mode, but it can be more than that. Funky Kong has 5 hearts, 3 when he's in a vehicle, can perform unlimited rolls and unlimited corkscrews underwater. This guy is bigger, faster, and stronger too. Challenging yourself to finish levels as fast as possible by integrating Funky's advantages like double jumping and the ability to stomp on spikes makes playing any level feel more nimble. Believe me, I'm no speedrunner, but playing this way is gratifying, especially when pulling off some of the more radical moves. While Funky is off adventuring, Tox takes over the shop to help you along the way, and you even get an employee discount, so buying any kind of aid in your adventure is even more effortless. I will say though that you're not completely invincible. You still need to watch where you're going as being precise and quick is all part of mastering this new totally tubular way of playing. This mode puts the fun in Funky Kong. What would have made this game even better is having more animal buddies than just Rambi and Squats. I mean where's Expresso? Where's On Guard? He would have been a perfect addition to this game. Maybe add in some of the Donkey Kong Country 2 animal buddies like Riley the Rattlesnake or Squitter the Spider. They would have made bonus rooms in the game feel not so repetitive. But hey, maybe Retro Studios is saving that for a third game. Potentially with Kremlings and King K. Rule also making a return. One can dream. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is easily one of this decade's best platformers. And having it on the Switch makes complete sense. It's not an easy journey, but one worth taking your time on, as there's an extensive amount of extras to get the most out of your experience. There's figures to buy, puzzle pieces to collect in each level that unlock gallery images, and gathering K-O-N-G letters in every island uncovers bonus stages known as K-Levels, which are extremely difficult. I'm talking no checkpoints and a lot of trial and error to try to get through these. Not to mention, some islands even have branching paths revealing extra levels. You're looking at a 30 hour game if you plan on completing this one. If you have never played Tropical Freeze, do yourself a solid and make this your next game on that ever-growing backlog. You will not be disappointed. And to my Wii U veterans, well, this is surely the definitive version of the game. So if a new mode, faster load times, and jump in visuals is enough to have you double dip, I say give it a go. I know I'm glad I did.